Hello YouTube, it's Chief Monkey J here. Um, out in the woods with Scott from Westwood Blades. So, just going to show you one of these products I bought. I bought this torch. I've been looking for a handheld torch. and took a punt on Amazon.co.uk. 16 and a half, 17 quid is what it was. Looking at the reviews, everybody's saying, good torch for the money, something like that. I thought I'd give it a shot. So, what have we got here? We've got a 300 lumen, 7 watt, CREE Cree. Bolt, uh, LED bulb powered torch. It's powered by three AAA batteries in this nice sort of cage. Securely seems securely put together. They're the batteries I've got with it. I've been using it at night, at night in my tour, in my loft, around at the field with my folks. Various bits and pieces. A couple of features on it. We've got a uh, high power a low power and a flashing. But within the high power and the low power we can change the beam angle on this demo. I don't know if you can see that changing on my hand. But we are in daylight out here in the woods. You can see on me shining like a beauty. Now I'm going to get Scott to pan this round on low power. The tree over there that's well, a fair distance away. Down it, down it up. Right on. That's high power. Yeah, you can see that. On its smallest setting. And that's low power. Yeah, you can see still that. see it shining up. In fact, I can even just about go down to some ones in the background. Well, that's daylight. That's fantastic. For a 300 lumen torch, for uh, under 20 quid, can't argue with that. Nice aluminium body. Everything seems well constructed, all screwed together. A little bit of Vaseline or something, I think, in these seals just to help them get watertight. But there's no plastic in any of this. It seems to be pretty good, so check out Amazon.co.uk for it. Uh, I'll let you know more how I'll keep using it, and we'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Hey, YouTube, Chief Monkey J, just an update on the Cree Torch 300 Lumen 7 Watt. This is on low power at the moment. There you can see the uh, square pattern of the bulb. Spread the beam out. A nice sort of floodlight. Which is great for local area, but as you can see, we get out a bit. We lose it on the... Uh, although, you can't see it on the film. I can see the cut of the trees in front of me. If we lower the beam down. There you go. It's pretty dark out here at the moment. You can see that tree. That tree in front of us. We'll just flick it to high power a minute. There we go. Much more. Much further around. Obviously it's totally different on the camera than it is f uh, for us guys here in the woods. It's pretty damn bright out here. That tree, how far would you say that tree over there is, Scott? That's 10 metres. 10 metres or so? Uh, it's pretty damn good. Uh, we're shining up the woodland like a thing possessed here. But anyway... Just an update on the torch for you. We're going to crack on because it is raining and there's a nice warm cup of tea waiting for us. Wah! Right, YouTube, we'll add this to the back of the video. Thanks very much.